uh, tell me when it begins. It's it's on. Okay. All right. So this is Will. You know, Shannon's son, and I want to talk about a few things regarding you know all of the rumors going around recently. Um. First of all, I just want to make this clear, like, my, mom and dad, both of them, they did their best. Like, you guys gotta understand that they're both not in a good state. Like, dad, he is in a very bad mental state, and he's not able to you know, take care of us properly because, you know, he can't get a job as, like, his mental issues, you know, it, it causes him to get in a state where, like, he'd be, this is according to him, like, he'd be a danger to other employees. But, you know, he's trying to get help for that, and... Yeah, um, with mom, like, you you guys already know, she's in a very bad physical state, and she's literally not able to walk at all. So, yeah, she, like, both of them, they've been trying their best to work with what they had, but it, it was becoming kind of clear that they weren't able to take care of us anymore, because the financial situation and all that, it just wasn't good. Like, okay, I'm gonna start with the starving rumor that G-Man was throwing around. I, I don't really know the exact details of it, but G-Man, like, <sighs> you really gotta stop because this is not okay. This is outright just wrong because, okay, what he's saying is he's saying that they intentionally starved me and my brother. They did not. In fact, both dad and mom tried their absolute best to get food in any way they could. Like, there were many moments where we didn't have much food, but there was always some kind of food in the house. And, you know, whenever, like, we started to run out, they looked around for some way to get more food. Like, they'd ask CPS or they'd ask G-Man for help. And, you know, they tried. Um, I also want to say, like, we were not being, like, abuse there were we in a good situation no but that was because we didn't have any money really and they weren't again they weren't able to properly take care of us so yeah but they did not abuse us or anything like that like you know if I'm gonna be honest like dad he did blow up a few times but you know, that happened because he has mental issues, and I'm not going to put that against him, because it, that's not what he's really like. He always apologizes after he does something like that. He tries his best to be as good of a man as he can be with the issues he has. And Mom, she tries her best to make money and, you know, just live life. Like, she tried to take care of us, and she showed many times that she loved us. Like, literally, she says she loves us all the time whenever we talk. And I do that, too. It... I'm gonna need a moment to think. Like, 
brain, please. <laughs> she has been trying her absolute best, and, you know, she's doing whatever she can do. Like, all of the streams she's making, she's doing that so, you know, she can make money to support herself and her family. Now, again, things were not the best back there, but it wasn't their fault because they couldn't take care of us. They had no money. They couldn't get any jobs. Like, Mom, physically disabled, and Dad, he's mentally disabled, so nobody's going to hire him, and he couldn't work even if you know, he had that opportunity because in his mental state, he would be too stressed out. So, yeah, um, I'm not really sure what else to cover, but just know, like, this is to anyone watching this, we were not abused, and they tried their best to take care of us. Now. Me and my brother, we're in a good place now. Things are better for us. But I, I just want to clear things up so you guys know that, like, Mom and Dad, they, they were trying their best, and they weren't, like, abusing us or anything. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, Mom and Dad, do you have anything you want to, like, comment on? No, that's all, honey. No, thank okay. you. Thank you for being so brave and strong, son. Thank you, honey. I love you both. I love you. Let me, let me turn this recording off. Hey, guys, it's Rev again. So, whoa. Like, just when I thought the world, like, and the way the world thinks and stuff couldn't get any more evil, and, and, and going towards... Satan and the devil in hell that when we try to go and see uh, William's video again on Shani's Twitch it's gone it's been removed wow that's literally okay you have a victim say I'm a victim right that's doing this and everybody knows what that's a symbol of okay putting the hand over the mouth, man. That is what you mass flaggers did to a young man that wanted to speak his mind. I think it's unbelievable, bad decision on Twitch's part, but it's like all bots. We know this. It's like everything is controlled by bots now. It's all AI. But I just think I had to come on and say how disgusting I think it is that, that uh, you would flag down and silence a, boy, a man because he's he is in every way a man at this point he's had to grow up fast and he's an incredible man and he's gonna make he's gonna make a great uh, contribution to society there's no doubt about that but you silenced him on twitch it's still on my channel I don't know how long it'll last but that's pretty ridiculous to silence this is silencing a victim that he, and he is a victim of you guys that's the truth you oppress the parents so much that that's what happened. So I think it's absolutely disgusting, and, and Twitch should put it back up. That's all I'm saying, because I'm banned on Twitch. I'm not on there. But anyway, that's it. I think it's ridiculous and disgusting. See you later.